Hi. Many discerning Haskell hackers use the Nix package manager to install Haskell software. For the most part, the experience is really nice, but every now and then you run into a case where you discover some tool written in Haskell that you'd like to try out. So you enter the appropriate Nix shell command to make it available in your path, but instead of success, you end up with an error message. Counterintuitively, that error message is actually a service that Nix provides to its users. Packages are marked as broken because someone has observed that an attempt to build them will fail. Now you don't have to spend several minutes of your life watching the shell just to find that out. Nix told you right away. At this point you have basically two options. The easiest way forward is to say, man, I'm just a user, I don't want to bother with this kind of stuff. And then you head over to the GitHub repository of Nix packages, open an issue and report that you were trying to use this package, that you couldn't use it because apparently it's broken and that you would love it if someone could fix it for you. The arguably nicer alternative is that you try to fix the build yourself. Before you put any effort into that endeavor, it is important to check whether the build actually still fails in the current development version of the Haskell package set. This development version lives in the Nix packages git repository in a branch called Haskell updates. So the first thing you should do is check out the latest version of that branch and repeat the build in there. If for some reason the package installs fine, then there is basically nothing to do. You can just lean back and wait until the development version of that code is merged into the master branch of the Nix packages repository. On the other hand, if the build still fails, then you can do something about it. The first step is to actually compile the package and find out what the error message is that you get when doing so. In the case of ARBTT, it turns out that the build of the package itself succeeds fine. What fails is the test suit. Looking at the error messages, it appears that the test suit tries to run the executables that it just built in that very same package. And it assumes that those executables can be found in path. But they can't. This is why the test suit fails trying to execute them. Now this is probably not indicative of a real problem meaning the fact that the test suit fails does not indicate that the package itself is actually broken. In all likelihood, we could make the test suit succeed by extending the path to include the build results of this very package before running the test suit. But as our first choice, let's go for the path of least resistance and just disable running the test suit as part of the build. That should fix it nicely. Disabling the test suit of ARBTT is accomplished by adding an override. Generally speaking, there are two kinds of overrides in the Haskell package set. The first type applies to all versions of the Haskell compiler and the second type applies only to a specific version of the Haskell compiler. Since the error we are experiencing has nothing to do with the Haskell compiler, this is clearly a generic problem that is going to affect any version of GHC, not just a specific one. So we add the override into the configuration common file, which applies it to all versions of GHC. Generally speaking, it is a good idea to search all available config files for the name of the package that you are trying to fix. This way you can discover any overrides that may be configured already. Maybe they are the reason for the build failure and fixing it is as simple as removing an outdated one. In any case, you can add an override for any given package 
to any configuration file just once. So if the configuration common file were to contain an override for ARBTT already, then we would have to extend that existing override rather than adding a new one. In our concrete example, the name ARBTT shows up only once in the file configuration hackage to nix dot yaml. That file is not used by Nix itself, rather it's used by the hackage to Nix utility, the generator that produces this entire package set based on the current state of the hackage database. The name ARBTT is listed in a section called broken packages and consequently it's going to be marked as broken by the generator. So if we remove the name from that section, the next time the hackage to Nix generator is going to run, it will unbreak the package in the generated package set. With that part taken care of, all that's left to do is to add the actual override to disable the ARBTT test suit. Fortunately, this could not be any easier. After saving and committing our changes to the repository, we have to do one final test build to make sure that our solution actually worked. Once that test comes back as successful, you can open a pull request and submit those changes to upstream for inclusion in the Haskell updates branch.